What's up guys, Sophie Soaps here and today I'm going to show you guys how to do a glitter custom. Now I know y'all have seen all these glitter customs floating around the internet and I myself have been like, wow, like these are actually really, really cool because I'm not really into the whole like glitter shoe things, just not really my style. But the ones that I've seen have actually been like really, really dope. So you guys might be wondering, is the custom going to be durable? Is the glitter going to fall everywhere? Is the glitter going to stick to the shoe? And the answer is yes, the custom is going to be durable. I'm going to show you guys how to lay the glitter on and how to seal the glitter in. So I will have all the products that I use in the description below as well as a link to purchase those products So feel free to check that out. But without further ado, let's go Alright guys, so the key to this custom is layering. So we're going to do multiple layers in order for everything to stick together nicely. So the first thing we're actually going to do is paint the uppers gold. So if there was any cracking or peeling, we're going to have a nice gold background as backup. The next thing we're going to do is mix our Angelus Neutral as well as our fine grain glitter and don't even worry about measurements here, we're going to go ahead and eyeball it so just make sure you add more glitter than you do neutral. Once we apply our mixture to the shoe, you're going to start to notice it stick to the surface and eventually after multiple coats, the glitter should all patch together and give you a nice even finish. Alright, so we're gonna get to this point and this looks pretty good, but this isn't really the finish that we're going for. We're going for something a little bit more dramatic and way more sparkly. So the first thing we're gonna do is lay down two pieces of paper. The reason I say this is because from this point on, things are gonna start to get a little bit messy. <laughs> second layer is going to be a little bit different so we're going to actually use a spray adhesive instead of our pasty glue and the reason we're doing that is because the glitter isn't completely set in place yet so if we were to actually use our paintbrush and our other glue it would just create a bunch of holes and clumps and just gaps in our previous finish and that's exactly what we're trying to avoid so for this one we're just going to use our spray glue and we're going to lay some glitter on top of that <laughs> Last thing we're going to do is create our sealer and this is what's actually going to keep the glitter secure and prevent it from falling everywhere. So what we're going to do is mix equal parts of Mod Podge, 
water, and our glitter in a container. Thank you.